जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सदी गौर भक्त बिंद जय श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नित्यानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिवा सदी गौर भक्त बिंद श्री कृष्ण करुणा सिंधु दीन बंधो जगतपते गोपेश गोपी कांत राधा कांत नमोस्तुदे प्राप्त कंचन गौरंगी राधे वृंदेश्वरी विश्वानु सुते देवी प्रणामी हरे नारायण नमस्कृत नरम चे नरोत्तम देवी सरस्वती व्यास तथो जय मुदीरे राधे गुरुकानंद भगवान की श्रीमद भागवतम की श्री कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण एवरीवन हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण So first of all, congratulations to everyone for landing on moon. <laughs> yeah, it's a big achievement. Absolutely, you too. Today is a really good day for India and for everyone. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I think I still remember that Chandrayaan two or one, right? Who fell? Who was that? Hmm. Last minute. They couldn't. Bolta. Bolta. Yeah. Angrezi. The third time is a charm. Oh. <laughs> से आराम से हो गया या नो फनी दैट वी बीन रीडिंग अबाउट द प्लेनेट्स लास्ट थ्री फोर वीक्स वी बीन रीडिंग अबाउट प्लेनेट्स राइट लाइक व्हाट आर द टॉप प्लेनेट्स वेयर इज वेनस वेयर इज मर्क्यूरी राइट एंड देन हाउ ऑल द अपर प्लेनेट्स एंड प्लेनेट्स अंडर अर्थ आर सिचुएटेड एंड सो ऑन एंड सो फॉर सो इट्स नाइस Shuru Gaya, I think we have been reading about the hellish planets. This is the final chapter of Canto Fifth, and right now what is described is what are the hellish planets. So those are there situated between Patal and Garbhodak Kosha. Yeah, some twenty-eight hellish planets were described, but then there are lots of planets like that, uh, which are created for the punishment to. For not following the Vedic principles, etc. So, हम लोग twenty seven श्लोक से शुरू करेंगे, अनिल जी. जी. ये तो है वह दस्यवो अग्निरा गर्दा ग्रामान सार्थान वा बिलुम्पंति राजानो राजभटावा तांस्चापी ही परेत्यस यमदूता बज्रदंस्रा श्वाना सप्तशतानि विंशता विंशतिस्च सर्वसम कादंति In this world, some persons are professional plunderers, plunderers who set fire to others' houses or administer poison to them. Also, members of the royalty or government officials sometimes plunder mercantile men by forcing them to pay income tax and by other methods. After death, such demons are put into the hell known as Sarmayadana. On that planet, there are seven hundred twenty dogs with teeth as strong as thunderbolts. Under the orders of the agents of Yamaraj, these dogs voraciously devour such sinful people. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Right. So as we know, all the hellish planets are being described. Right. Tarun. Yes. Yes. Tetva ihava antram. वदति दाने निर्वकाशे योजन शतो 
यादतगिरीमूर्धन संपात्यते यत्र जलमिव स्थल मव भासते तच्चिमतिलशो विषिमरियमान शरीरो न मृत्यमान पुनरारो पितो निपतति ए पर्सन हु इन दिस लाइफ बेयर्स फॉल्स विटनेस और लाइज वाइल ट्रांसैक्टिंग बिजनेस or giving charity is severely punished after death by the agents of yamraj such a sinful man is taken to the top of a mountain 800 miles high gone head first into the hell known as avichimat this hell has no shelter and is made of strong stone resembling the waves of water there is no water there however and thus it is called avichimat waterless Although the sinful man is repeatedly thrown from the mountain and his body broken into tiny pieces, he still does not die but continuously suffers chastisement. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <coughs> Hare Krishna, Rina ji. Hare Krishna, Mia. Yes, <coughs> Tvi Vai Vipro Rajanyo Vaishyo Vasuma Pith Sta Kalatram Vasuram Pratastho Api Vapibati. प्रमाद तस्तेशाम This hell also awaits any kshatriya vaishya or person under a vow who is Ill, who in illusion drinks somras in yahapan the agents of yamraj stands on their chest and pours pour hot melted iron into their mouths hare krishna yeah very very tough punishment are being described right okay yath chayat stivah va atma sambhavane na स्वयं धमो जन्मत्पो विद्याचारो न बहु मे मृतक एजुकेशन बिहेवियर caste or spiritual order is like a dead man even in this lifetime and after death he is thrown head first into the hell known as sharkardama there he must suffer great tribulation at the hands of the agents of yamraj anil ji ji ye to hi ve purushah purush medhena ajante yash striyo nrapshun khadanti tanschate पशव इव निहतायम सदने तातयंतो रक्षो गणा सौनिकाइव स्वधिति नाव दायास्र कपिवंति नृत्यंति च गायंति च हृष्यमाणा यथे पुरुषादा देर आर मेन एंड वीमेन इन दिस वर्ल्ड हु सैक्रिफाइस ह्यूमन बीइंग्स टू भैरव और भद्र काली एंड देन ईट देयर विक्टिम्स फ्लैश those who perform such sacrifices are taken after death to the abode of yamraj where their victims having taken the form of rakshasa cut them to pieces with sharpened swords just as in this world the man eaters drank the victims blood dancing and singing in jubilation the victims now enjoy drinking the blood of the sacrifices and celebrating in the same way hare krishna hare krishna hare ये अनागासो ग्रामे वैश्यूपस्रुपिश्रम जिजी विभूषण शूलसू 
यमतासु शूलादीषु प्रोतात्म मन आत्मा सलमन स्मरंती इन दिस लाइफ सम पीपल गिव शेल्टर टू एनिमल्स एंड बर्ड्स दैट कम टू देम for protection in the village or forest and after making them believe that they will be protected such people pierce them with lists lances or threads and play with them like toys giving them great pain after that such people are brought by the assistance of yamraj to the hell known as suloprota where their bodies are pierced with sharp needle like lances they suffer from hunger and thirst and sharp big birds such as vultures and herons come at them from all sides to tear at their bodies tortured and suffering they can then remember the sinful activities they committed in the past hari krishna you know ye dve vai bhutanyu dve jayanti nara ulbar anaswa bhava yatha दंडशुका My dear king, in this hell there are serpents with five or seven hoods. These serpents eat such sinful persons just as snakes eat mice. Hare Krishna. Ye tuheva andhavat kusula guha dishu mutani nirudhanti katha mutra te shvevo paveshya sagarena vahina dhumena nirundhanti those who in this life confine other living entities in dark wells granaries or mountain caves are put after death into the hell known as avata nirodhana there they themselves are pushed into dark wall wells where poisonous fumes and smoke suffocate them and they suffer very severely anil yes tiwaha va atithin byagatan va ग्रहपतिरस कृदु फगंत मनुर्धि दक्षुरीव पापेन चक्षुषा निरीक्षते तस् चाति निरये पापदृष्टे रक्षिणी वज्रतुंडा गद्रा कंक कणक काका बटाद प्रस्यहयोरु बलादुत्पाटयन्ती ए हाउस होल्डर हु रिसीव्स गेस्ट्स और विजिटर्स विद क्रूर ग्लांसेस as if no as if to turn them to ashes is put into the hell called paria bartan where he is gazed at by hard eyed vultures herons crows and similar birds who suddenly swoop down and pluck out his eyes with great force hare krishna you know मन वगतो ग्रह इवाथम विरक्षति स चापी प्रेत तदुत्दनोत्कर्षण संरक्षण शमल ग्रह सुचि मुखे नरके निपतती 
निपतति यत्र वित्त ग्रहम पाप पुरुषम धर्म राज पुरुषा वायका एव सर्वतो अंगेश सूत्र परिवयंते वन हु इन दिस वर्ल्ड और दिस लाइफ इज वेरी प्राउड ऑफ इज वेल्थ ऑलवेज थिंक्स आई एम सोरेज हु कैन इक्वल मी हिज विजन इज ट्विस्टेड एंड ही इज ऑलवेज अफ्रेड दैट समवन विल टेक हिज वेल्थ इनडीड ही इवन सस्पेक्ट्स हिज सुपीरियर्स his face and heart dry up at the thought of losing his wealth and therefore he always looks like a wretched pain he is not in any way able to obtain actual happiness and he does not know what it is to be free from anxiety because of the sinful things he does to earn money argue argument his wealth and protect it he is put into the hell called suchi mukha where he the officials of yamraj punish him by stitching thread through his entire body like weavers manufacturing clothes hari krishna hari krishna yeah so like see how the hellish planets have been described and based on the fugitive activities right uh, very this, detailed yeah ha <laughs> uh, tarun e evam vidha naraka यमलय सी सतस सहस्रसु सर्वेशु चर्व एव धर्म वर्तिनो ये केचिदिहोदित अदित कवनी चवनीपते पर्यन विसि तथे धर्म नवर्तीन इतरात्र इह पुनर्भावे डिग्री namely the planets of the demigods nevertheless both the pious and impious are again brought to earth after the results of their pious or impious acts are exhausted hare krishna hare krishna yeah. so very very important right so what happens is we either do satogun rajogun tamogun right and based on that pious and impious activities are done and based on the degree of that Right, the degree of the impiety or degree of doing pious work or impious work, yeah, based on the degree, people are sent to different planets. But the one most important thing which is mentioned here is that it doesn't really matter. Both the pious and impious are again brought to earth after the results of their pious or impious acts are exhausted. So even if somebody has an impious activity and he got the Results of the karma, then he again comes back to work. He again gets a chance to do the right karmas. Or even when somebody is in pious karma, it go can go to the demi gods or higher planets. But then again, after it's exhausted, you again come down to work. So, what is the process of getting out of this constant birth and death, old age and disease? What is that process? Yeah. So, what is the process to so that we can get out of this whole cycle? Chanting. Surrender to the. Surrender to the Godhead. Godhead. Yeah. Surrender to Supreme okay. Personality of Godhead, which basically means devotional service. Which basically means chanting, shrana, kirtana, all that. This bhakti thing will make us pure slowly and slowly. Do pious activities, purify the soul, right? and then you know we get position even if it mentioned that even if it doesn't happen in this human life you again get a human birth and then you continuously uh you know at some point get to the position where you can go back to godhead nice purport so let's read that um anilji yeah this corresponds to the beginning of lord krishna's instructions in bhagavad gita tatha dehantara प्रपति 
within this a material world one is simply meant to change from one body to another in different planetary system urdhavaha gachanti sattvastha those in the mode of goodness are elevated to the heavenly planets adho gachanti tama saha similarly those too engrossed in ignorance enter the hellish planetary systems both of them however are subjected to the reputa- repetition of birth and death in bhagavad gita it is stated that even one who is very pious returns to earth after his enjoyment in the higher planetary system is over chitin punya marti martya lokaha visanta visanti therefore going from one planet to another does not solve the problems of life the problems of life will only be solved when we no longer have to accept a material body this can be possible if one simply becomes krishna conscious hari krishna hari krishna yes if one becomes krishna consciousness conscious right that you then it's possible that we don't have to accept a material body otherwise based on the ps and impious activities yeah can go to hellish planets or or even heavenly planets based on the uh, satva ista gachanti right the satogun and you don't need chandrayaan for that like <laughs> i think based on the karma you automatically transfer to the different planets uh, right whether up or down बॉडी टेक्स हिज take his birth again in this material world but attains my eternal abode o arjun this is the perfection of life and the real solution to life's problems we should not be eager to go to the higher heavenly planetary systems nor should we act in such a way that we have to go to the hellish planets the complete purpose of this material world will be fulfilled when we resume our spiritual identities and go back home back to godhead the very simple method for doing this is prescribed by the supreme personality of godhead sarva dharma parityaya parit parityajya mam ekam sharanam vraja one should be neither pious nor impious one should be a devotee and surrender to the lotus feet of krishna this surrendering process is also very easy even a child can perform it man man bhava मद भक्तो मद या मद नमस्कुरु वन मस्ट ऑलवेज सिंपली थिंक ऑफ कृष्णा बाय चैंटिंग हरे कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे वन शुड बिकम कृष्णास डिवोटी वर्शिप हिम एंड ऑफर ओबिसियंसेस टू हिम दस वन शुड एंगेज ऑल द एक्टिविटीज ऑफ हिज लाइफ इन द सर्विस ऑफ लॉर्ड कृष्णा हरे कृष्णा भगवदीतालोडकृष्ण निवित्री लक्षस्य लक्षण मार्ग अधव एवा व्यायक्त व्याख कियत्यह एतवन एवंद कोसो यस चतुर्दश सधा पुराणेषु विकल्पिता उपगीयते यत् तद् भगवतो नारायणस्य सक्षण महापुरुषास्य स्वात विध विस्थम रूपम आत्मा माया 
गुणमयम अनुवर्णित अद्रत पद्धति श्रुति श्रवयति स उपगे उपगेय भगवत परमात्मा मनो गृह्य अभी श्रद्धा भक्ति विशुद्ध बुद्धिर्वेद In the beginning, the second and third cantos of Srimad Bhagavatam have already described how one can progress on the path of liberation. In the Puranas, the vast universal existence, which is like an egg divided into fourteen parts, is described. This vast form is considered the eternal body of the Lord, created by His energy and qualities. It is generally called the Virat Rupa. If one reads the description of this. external form of the lord with great faith or if one hears about it or explains it to others to propagate bhagavat dharma or krishna consciousness his faith and devotion devotion in spiritual consciousness krishna consciousness will will gradually increase although developing this consciousness is very difficult by this process one can purify himself and gradually come to an awareness of the supreme absolute truth Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. So that's what Sukhdev Goswami ji, Goswami ji himself is telling, right? Sukhdev Goswami ji himself is telling to Maharaj Parikshit that uh, I have already described one path of liberation, and if you remember, I think in Canto two or is where we read the whole Virat Rupa of Lord Vishnu, right? How up to the fourteen planets we have, right? And the head is like the Brahma Lok, and the Pata Lok is at the Feet, right. So this is how the whole Virat Shroop of Lord Vishnu is described, and a lot of people meditate on that Virat Shroop. Uh, and as we meditate more and more, you know, we develop the Krishna consciousness, and by doing the Krishna consciousness, this process one can purify himself and gradually come to an awareness of the supreme absolute truth. Is what is being mentioned. Yeah. It says the Krishna consciousness movement is pushing forward the publication of Srimad Bhagavatam as explained especially for the understanding of the modern civilized man to awaken him to his original consciousness. Without this consciousness, one melts into complete darkness. Whether one goes to the upper planetary systems or the hellish planetary systems, he simply wastes his time. Therefore, one should hear of the universal position of the Virat form of the Lord, as described in Shrimad Bhagavatam. That will help one save himself from material conditional life and gradually elevate him to the path of liberation, so that he can go back home, back to Godhead, Lord Sri Krishna. Yeah. Aniji. Shrutva sthulam tatha sukshmam. रूपम भगवत यति स्थूल निर्जित तमात्म शनय सूक्ष्म धिया नये दिति वन हू इज इंटरेस्टेड इन लिबरेशन हू एक्सेप्ट द पैथ ऑफ लिबरेशन एंड इज नॉट अट्रैक्टेड टू द पैथ ऑफ कंडीशनल लाइफ इज कॉल्ड यति आर ए डिवोटी सच ए पर्सन शुड पर्स कंट्रोल हिज माइंड बाई थिंकिंग ऑफ द विराट रूप दिस जायगेंटिक यूनिवर्सल पार ऑफ द लॉर्ड and then gradually think of this spiritual form of krishna sak satchidananda vigraha after hearing of both forms thus one's mind is fixed in samadhi by devotional service one can then realize the spiritual form of the lord which is the destination of devotees thus his life becomes unsuccessful sorry thus becomes successful hari krishna thank you right again you know by devotional service one can realize the spiritual form of the lord which is the ultimate destination of the devotees yeah can okay, a nice purport let's read this tarun it is said mahat se sevam dwaram aho vimukti hai if one wants to progress on the path of liberation he should associate with mahatmas or liberated devotees because in such association there is a full chance of for hearing describing and chanting about the name 
form, qualities, and paraphernalia of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, all of which are described in Srimad Bhagavatam. On the path of bondage, one eternally undergoes the repletion of birth and death. One who desires liberation from such bondage should join the International Society for Krishna Consciousness and thus take advantage of the opportunity to hear Srimad Bhagavatam from devotees and also explain it to propagate Krishna Consciousness. Hare Krishna. So what is mentioned is, if one wants to progress on the path of liberation, one should associate with Mahatmas, yeah, all liberated devotees. And there are a lot of good sense, right? Good Mahatmas, good sense. And it is recommended that we go to hear them or, or, or you know, we associate with them. And that gives an uh, easy path to liberation. So actually today also at the end, we will hear like a Mangla Aarti of one of the good Mahatmas in Vrindavan uh, in these days. Yeah. So this Srinath. <clears throat> विष्णुर्जगन्नाथ my dear king, I have now described for you this planet Earth, other planetary systems and their lands, Varshas, rivers and mountains. I have also described the sky, the oceans, the lower planetary systems, the directions, the hellish planetary systems and the stars. These constitute the Virat Roop, the gigantic material form of the Lord on which all living entities repose. Thus, I have explained the wonderful expense of the external body of the Lord. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Yeah. So like this, Sukhdev Goswamiji has explained uh, all the planetary systems, right? We read about Surya Dev, higher planetary system, lower planetary systems, uh, the Virat Swarup of the Lord, and even all these different rivers and mountains and, you know, those nine tracks of land and so on and so forth. So Parikshit Maharaj was asking about the Brahman and that's how Sudhir Goswamiji explained everything, including the hellish planets and even the Garboda Koshyan and even the distances and the quantitative measurements and all the names of everything, right? So, was done and this brings, thus ends the Bhakti Vedanta purpose of the fifth canto 26th chapter of Srimad Bhagavatam entitled A Description of the Hellish Planet. Follow Srimad Bhagavatam Ki. Yeah. Jai. Jai. And, this, yeah. and this actually also completes the fifth canto. Nice. So, yeah. So that's a great achievement. You know, we're completing five books. And uh, so again, Srimad Bhagavatam Ki. Jai. Jai. And we'll start the sixth canto next, which is about the prescribed duties of our mankind. And this shows that how when a mankind performs prescribed duties, you know, how they can go to heavenly planets or go back to Godhead. So now those things are described in canto six. Yeah. So we'll take a pause now. We'll start the canto six next week on Monday. So we completed up to canto fifth. And uh, and today, uh, since we have completed Kento 5th, also India landed on moon. We are going to see a nice clip for two minutes, which is, uh, you know, a small child. Um, also, we read about sense, right? So, there is a saint called uh, Sri Vinod Babaji Maharaj in Vrindavan. So... I don't know if you heard about Vinod Babaji Maharaj in Vrindavan. Uh, he is really renowned and very, very down to earth saint. And then there is another son who is Premanand, Premanandji Maharaj. He is also in Vrindavan. And Premanandji Maharaj is like where all the people, like all the saints go to him, basically. Right? Like if you heard about Chitra Lekaji and 
Jaya Kishori Ji and Bhageshwar Baba and everyone, they go to Premanandji Maharaj uh, to discuss things. So we are going to see the Mangla Arti there. And before that, we'll see two minutes. Uh, and where a, you know, a small child is doing a good dance on the Hare Krishna tune. <laughs> so it's kind of a celebration for Chandrayaan and also for ending our fifth canto. Yeah. So we'll see that two minutes of nice, interesting dance. <laughs> going to see a Mangla Arti. So this is for four or five minutes at Premanandji Ashram and Premanandji is for Radha Rani, right? So he believes in the chanting of Radha Rani. And I don't know if you know about him, but uh, so Premanandji Maharaj before 17, 18 years, I think his both kidneys went bad and and then the doctor said that, like, this is it. But with Radhe Rani's blazings, you know, he's distributing all these Radhe Rani's name. And it's almost 18 years and he's in a good shape. So it's nice to see that. <laughs> Mangal 
right so who will be starting with kento 6th this coming monday yeah. and uh, you know it has been a good journey so far <laughs> slowly and slowly moving ahead yeah the very nice and we so like in vrindavan you know there are so many mahatmas like this like in different locations and different places i right? just a different atmosphere yeah hari right, so hari krishna and hey, hari krishna hari krishna everyone hari krishna everyone krishna everyone